Hi, my latest book is called Noble Conflict and Noble Conflict is about a boy called Casper and he joins the Guardians which is kind of a cross between his society's police force and the army and they are charged with protecting their society against their enemies who are called the Crusaders and they're a, 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 a subset of these Crusaders are called the insurgents or the terrorists and they're the ones who are kind of bombing things and so on so he, the Guardians are, are charged with make, keeping peace really and they use non-lethal weapons and they, so they see themselves as better than the Crusaders in every way. But then Casper meets one of these insurgents called Rhea and then begins to realise through conversations with her that maybe they haven't been told the entire truth about the Crusaders and what the Crusaders want and why the Crusaders are fighting. And the idea came about because I just love this idea of how much can you trust the people in authority? How much can you trust them to tell you the truth? And what do they tell us when they want us to go to war? And what do they tell us in times of peace? And how much can you actually trust that? And it was inspired by things like the Zimbardo experiment, or, or, which was um, a guy called Philip Zimbardo. And uh, he ran a Stanford experiment where he split sort of a group of ordinary people into prison guards and, and uh, prisoners. And then over the course of just a few days, it kind of the experiment got out of hand and it was those in authority who were kind of ruling over the ones who weren't and, and playing all these horrible psychological games with them. And also the Milgram experiment, which is an experiment about how much do we defer to authority, even when they tell us to do things that we really don't want to do. And in that experiment, um, there was a, someone in authority saying, you have to electrocute someone if they get answers to questions wrong and there's the voltage would go up each time and the number of people saying I really don't like this I don't want to do this but the voice in authority would say I'm sorry but you must continue with the experiment and because it was someone in a white coat sitting behind them telling them to do it most people would do it so I found that really interesting and so that also was a kind of impetus and the, 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 the spur for writing this story so that's noble conflict